what we were facing while we were creating the market bubbles were that they were not active for a long time. Uh, we needed them to last as long as possible since we, we needed to ship them all to a hospital in Boston so they could, so they could be injected and tested in mice. Uh, so in response, we conducted an experiment to test the microbial stability in different environments. The, the, the specific point of this test was to find out which condition would be best suited, suited for these bubbles. Thus, we had two different setups. The first setup was leaving the microbials in, uh, in, in the room temperature, and the second setup was leaving the microbials in uh, refrigeration. So these are our results uh, for the stability experiment. From this graph, uh, you can see that the refrigerated microbes last longer than those left at room temperature. So the y-axis, which is the gas uh means the amount of microbes, and that was graph over time, which is in hours. Uh, like I said, the green line represents the refrigerator microbes, and the purple line.
we believe that the rotary marginals were increasing in size was because they were colliding with the wall, which caused damage to them. Let's see if the video works. This video shows, basically shows the marker bubble increasing size. This was recorded under a video of microscope. It does not work. <laughs> okay, so our next experiment, and this was our final experiment, was uh, freezing the marker bowls in dry ice. We want to know, since we concluded that leaving the marker bowls in the refrigerator, uh, we're most able to leave it in room temperature, we wanted to try to see if the dry ice would uh, make it more stable than even in refrigerator in refrigeration. But, uh, this does not damage the, mug, the bubbles as much as we think, but uh, the, the, the walls, the crystals that form with the dry ice can puncture the micro bubbles and making them explode and uh, break. If the, micro, if the bubbles can be frozen without bursting, they will have an indefinite shell. So this graph represents the gas pressure of the micro particles over graph over time. As we can see, the amount of marker bubbles were decreasing and decreasing over time. And we can see that the, uh, the size of the mark, uh, mark, uh, these marker bubbles left in dry ice were kind of, uh, sort of stable compared to the, to the one rotating. They were like around 10 micrometers, which is good. Uh, and that's what, and so our conclusion was that dry ice may possibly be used for storage to they create a stable micro bubbles and the time frame seems to not affect the size of the um, bubbles and the shell and the shell life is indefinitely postponed. Contrary to expectations, not all the bubbles are ruptured by freezing. Other experiments are needed to confirm the results, including the freezing <coughs> bubbles at lower temperatures. Our future experiments will be to test different lipid uh, formulas to see which one, which lipid formula will create the uh, most stable uh, marker bubbles. And also use a different method to create these marker bubbles. And lastly, to determine the flexibility of these marker bubbles. So these are references. And we would like to acknowledge Professor Mark Gordon, Ed Watson, Nathan Lee, our co-mentors, uh, the Department of Chemical Engineering at Columbia University, the Pasadena Society, College Society, and thank you for listening. Any questions?